6,852 islands in the middle of Pacific Ocean, full of life. That's Japan for you. This, of course, is Tokyo, the biggest mega city in the world. We look like we just fell from another planet. We feel like that too. For some reason, it's strangely calm. After chaotic India, Japan has a sense of direction. But we are not here to get hypnotized by the city lights of Shinjuku. They claim Japan's the place where gods of snow reign. You either live your dream or you die with your dream. We are three passionate free skiers on a search for our personal Shangri-La. The place with the perfect snow and the flawless ambience. To find it, we live out of our beds, travel constantly, sacrifice our comfort and find ourselves sometimes in strange places. Who knows whether we'll find what we're searching for, but who cares? Whatever happens, we are living our dream. The perfect spot might be just around the corner. So, yeah, it's pretty middle of a street. Uh, different than in India. And uh, I think we're gonna find our tube hotel from this place. And after that, we go to get some yakitori. We found a room for ourselves. And uh, once you come to Tokyo, you need to experience that capsule hotel. Guys, the capsule. The capsule. The capsule. <laughs> Just two floors up from the she mail bub. <laughs> I found my bed. Your it's home. My home. It's well equipped. Uh, Let's get in. Uh, like a badger in a hole. Pretty nice for a white guy. How is Tokyo? Yeah, I'm, I love Tokyo. Did you say what that did? to Shinjuku, to Kabukicho, an area which is full of small bars, small restaurants and strip clubs. But we're searching for this one yakitori restaurant we've been recommended, which is supposed to be really, really, really good. Hopefully we're gonna find it. How do you think about the feeling in this place? <laughs> it's really tight, really small, like super small place, and it's full, full of people. And uh, I don't know, it looked really interesting. And the atmosphere is great, so I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Ah, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a yakitori artist. My life. Yakitori is my life. Yakitori to a and uh, Japanese uh, and, uh, soul, soul food. My recommend is chicken wasabi. The yakitori is it's kind of like uh, mixed skewers. A lot of meat, a lot of meat, uh, hearts, livers, and of course some beer to the side. <laughs> How is it going, the first bite, Yanni? I'm actually like super stoked to eat chicken without that I have to be aware about my stomach and the taste, the texture and wasabi, it's just so good. Yeah, it's really, I can feel the wasabi, it's like, it's gonna open my nose. And uh, chicken it's, itself is like almost too raw, but it's, it's great, it's, it's really good. Yes, Woo! I'm giving seven thumbs for the atmosphere and uh, one plus thumbs for the thing that we actually found this place. Tokyo Banzai! 
this is the kind of eating that I enjoy. Just like really relaxed and just enjoying having a few beers and eating while having a few screws and people are enjoying a cigarette once in a while. Just really slow, just spending a nice evening in a really, really nice restaurant. I totally enjoy it. It's kind of a amazing that random wanderer can find this warm feeling in a city biggest Tokyo. Well, it's the biggest city of them all. But we have to prepare for tomorrow. Have to go and get a good night's sleep. But maybe one more round. <laughs> Our quest in Japan was kind of epic, to conquer Mount Fuji. Lovely plan that would have worked if the volcano hadn't just gained two meters of fresh snow. That means only one thing for me, high risk of avalanche. Change of plan, to Hakuba it is. Hi! Ticket to happiness, four and a half hours of watching scenery and just relaxing. Four and a half hours bus trip to Hakuba. Hopefully the snow is this time something good. To some, Japan means sushi. To others, samurai movies. To me, it's snow. In Hakuba, I see snow falling down. It lifts my spirit. It snows constantly, 24-7. It would make any other place stop, but not in Japan. For me, it's the powder skier's daydream come true. This snow seems to have a mind of its own. People living here are trying to struggle, moving it and pushing it day and night. In the middle of all this, I'm only thinking about skiing. The day comes. The reason why the skiing gear is dragged through airports, train stations and city centrum. This is what we live for. To ski in Hakuba, you have to know where you're going. The access is rather limited. They don't want gaijins to ski in the forests that are full of Shinto ghosts or possibly ninjas. But come on, where else do you want to ski than off-piste?
I'm up with my dog in the first lap. Do you want to go and see my friend at the little Alaskan burger? Yeah. Cheap burgers, good beer, good place to hang out. Right. After a week full of sushi, it's time for something less mainstream. It is not every day you come across Alaska in the middle of Japanese mountains. As a teenager, Chef Kohei landed in Alaska and fell in love with the place. The man left Alaska, but Alaska never left him. Years went by, and Kohei returned time after time to one of his favorite places. So one day, he decided to bring Alaska with him back to Japan. He's cooking hamburgers with a Japanese twist, splitting his time between snowboarding every day and cooking hamburgers. He's the perfect guy for insider information. I moved to Hakuba five years ago, and there is so many places like here. The first recommend is Big AK Burger. Okay, how is that? Big. <laughs> it's big. It's big as Alaska. How do you compare the riding in Alaska and uh, here in Hakuba, in Japan? How is it? Oh, it's about the same. That's why I decided to live here. How about the snow here? Is it stable? Like, uh, yeah, beginning of the season is not that stable because uh, the temperature is kind of low and windy. When is the good season to do those uh, boulevards and stuff like that? Uh, I think springtime is better. Yeah, is but... the stable or...? Yeah, stable. Yeah. But... Anytime is good to yeah, go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah place like this is more like an image of the spring of Baldi's Alaska. Yeah, that's what I felt like. <laughs> Oh, like a, like small cabin, cabin and yeah. messy snow. Yeah. 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 For a hungry skier, the best uh, body is good food. So Alaskan burger it is. Uh, Ape, what do you think of this burgers? I think the atmosphere is great. The place is uh, similar, a little bit like in Alaska style, and uh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's taste. The burger is kind of a big. It's you, a big. You big think one. you can manage? It's pretty heavy, so. You're the hungriest one of us, so do you think you can manage? I think I can manage. All right, let's give it a go. It's look big, man. One bite. <laughs> a lot of flavor is in it. I don't know which, which part I bite it, but it's good. Yeah, I think it's really good. What's not to be good in burger with maybe half a kilo of meat, onion rings, bacon, Japanese mushrooms. The only problem is it's too big to fit in your mouth, so you're gonna get a bit messy on your face, but it's good. Big burger. Big is like Alaska. It's just good. Good burger. And, um, I don't know. It tastes good. Like, no rush anywhere. Take it easy. Think a little about skiing or snowboarding, mountains, you know. We can be a little wild in Alaska. Hakuba is almost perfect, but I know even better snow exists in Japan. Therefore, journey up north can begin. But first, we pay our respects to the spirits in Zenkoji, 7th century Buddhist temple in Nagano. In Zenkoji, good luck and fortune can be asked from the spirits. Yanni wishes for something that suits for us. Hoping for some more snow from the spirits. What do you do with that? You light it, you just use 100 yen, put it in the box, and you get one of these, and you light it here, and put it in that 
big pot over there. So what, more snow? More snow, hopefully. Hopefully it works. Oh yes, it is a swastika, the symbol of all Western evil. Of course, Germans just snatched it from Asia, where it's been a symbol of good luck for a few millenniums. Like the ancient symbol, Japan is loaded with spiritualism that seems to connect the people to the soil they walk on. Japan is a religious mishmash of Zen Buddhism, Shinto religions and Christianity. They live together in what seems strangely harmonious. A person can have a Shinto wedding and a Buddhist funeral. That wouldn't fly in where I'm coming from. To be honest, I kind of like it like that. It's not always so obvious to find the train and because they're so accurate you have only the amount of time to find your train that is said we have 60 minutes as you can see it's not easy to read it Welcome to Shinkansen, aka the bullet trains of Japan. One good feature in these trains is that they are hardly ever late, so if you are used to sleep past your own stop, it's pretty hard to do it here. You can put the alarm clock just like two minutes before your stop and the train will be there after that two minutes. All the trains in Japan combined together are in one year, 32 seconds late in total, so pretty accurate train stuff going on here. It's pretty nice ride, the tracks are well made, so really nice way to move around in Japan and fast, 300 k's an hour. Arco just found a dwarf. He's gonna let us know where we're gonna stay tonight. Or maybe that dude is a leopard dog. It's better than funny when you're illiterate again and don't have common language. We've been tracking our bags from one house to another for the past half an hour and now we found a place which might have room so now we just check the price and hopefully it's decent. Pretty decent price. 8400 for a twin room and 4400 for a single so around 13000 for a night. At least it's a place to sleep, so I think we're gonna take this one. For the situation, good deal. <laughs> Almost a year ago, it was March 
Friday 11th, time was 1446. An earthquake happened 70 kilometers from this point to northeast. And it created a tsunami that hit here in Senda with full force. And it was measured in Richter scale 9.0. Yeah, and I think in the measurement history, it was the fifth strongest in the world, so it was really strong. And if you look at the buildings here, you totally can see the full strength that it had when it came inland. And it actually went like 10 kilometers inland. Ripping everything from the way. But the rebuilding here in Japan, it's really fast. Yeah, they built like a highway which was torn apart in three months. And when you're driving here to the port, you really can see that there's almost everything is repaired and these few buildings are the last ones in this bad shape. So probably in maybe two more months, everything is rebuilt again. Yeah, you can't see almost any evidence of the tsunami these days. Yeah, but you still can feel the bad vibes. thousand eight hundred fifty two islands in the middle of Pacific Ocean six thousand eight hundred fifty one more to see next we head to the place with skiing conditions that meet no match towards north with no haste but full of anticipation to Hokkaido we have a special reason to go that's where our sensei Mr. Akio Shinya lives. Yes, a snow sensei. Man, I can't wait to get there. <laughs> 